Rennie Landon serves as backdrop to a dystopian future where a trio of highly skilled criminals makes their streets a playground to put all their evil skills into practice. It seems a somewhat interesting plot. Join in on the video review for Sunday Gold. This is a premise of Sunday Gold, an RPG adventure title with many puzzles and turn-based mechanics when it comes to combat. After an event that ended with the capture of one of the elements of the trio, Sally and Frank seem themselves without ideas and without money to approach the future. Here comes Gavin, the nerd on duty, with a clue that appears to be unattractive at first, but quickly proves to be quite peculiar and dangerous. Although they are a gang of thugs, the main characters have their convictions on the good side of the force, and this being a clue that promises to unravel the danger that is plaguing the city at the moment, they decided to join forces even knowing little or nothing about this new team member. The mission will thus be to unravel the Machiavellian plans of an evil mega corporation and the billionaire behind it. The adventure involves exploration and combat against enemies in a turn-based premise. Each action is necessarily associated with the use of action points, which also automatically translates to combat against enemies. Each character has X number of action points at their disposal, and it is possible to manage resource by spreading the action points among different members. Although for certain moments it is necessary to use the key character to complete the puzzle. Frank is the person responsible for opening places that are closed with a normal lock and his finger's dexterity is quite advanced and he treats each lock as if it was his friend. Sally is living proof that muscles are not just for the eyes to see, but to help in situations where strength is a real catchword. Finally, Gavin, the service mastermind, who is capable of hacking everything that is electronic locked or even PC passwords. An interesting point is that each special action is associated with a special minigame of each character. There are key moments where a combat against enemies is unavoidable in a boss fight situation, which many follows the purpose of the story. About the other moments of combats against enemies are mainly due to the need to change turns since you run out of action points. In this sense, it is very important to keep an eye on the alert meter on top of the screen. This meter can go from green, yellow or red. The confrontation themselves essentially translate into strategic mechanics, but it is important to understand the different enemies that you are facing. Each enemy has a weakness and an attack type that has protection against. In this sense, it is important either to change weapon that presents the intended type of attack or to use the ability related to that. While there isn't a huge repertoire of weapons, there are small nuances when it comes to use of various weapons. The thing is, each character can only use one firearm and one weapon of melee damage, and specific to their abilities. Although not very important, Frank is the only one who, for example, can use a heavier firearm, such as a shotgun or even a rifle. On the other hand, Sally is unique in that she can use her fist to deliver punches that promises to deal a lot of damage. The RPG mechanics are translated into a skill tree, which, although not very extensive, make it possible to define a skill plan for a better performance in practice. As you would expect for each chapter completion, encounters against enemies or puzzle solving, a small percentage of experience is added to each character. I didn't find any efficient way to grind, or in other words, to get more experience, nor did I feel the need to, except in a period of combat against bosses that can become somewhat tedious. In a way, the combats against the enemies are the point that least interested me in the course of the action. Despite having an interesting graphics impact, I didn't felt great depth of mechanics often ending up by using the most useful attack skill against the enemies. There is a bar effect in the metal form that has direct impact during periods of combat. Each character has three different levels of mental composure, and for each level less, it is possible to fall into a mental state of madness that will increase as the story progresses, or when faced with an enemy attack. Sunday Gold tells a somewhat interesting story, where each character presents exquisite voice acting, and interesting puzzles, but it owes some points to a somewhat monotonous combat mechanic and an action point system that can become tedious and that essentially lead to moments of frustration. And well, if you do want to help me out in any way, just hit the bell, Twitch, my videos here, all of that. Bye.